Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is animating the Lumetri color panel. If you haven't seen my six part Lumetri color panel uh, breakdown, then I'll have a link at the end for you to go and watch that. You should watch that first to know how to use it before you know how to animate. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set keyframes and animate this. And if you come from other kind of uh, grading programs, you might refer to a lot of this as power windows. So let's go have a look. All right, in this clip, we have exposure that doesn't change, but I want to introduce this not with a simple dissolve, but with an exposure change. So at the top of my workspace, I'm gonna click on color, and it's gonna call up the Lumetri color panel on the right-hand side, and this is where I can change the exposure. As soon as you touch any of these, on the left-hand side, in the effects controls, the Lumetri effect is added. So if I get rid of that, just delete it, and touch the exposure, you'll see it gets added. So I'm gonna start with the exposure down here. Very dark. And I'm gonna open up basic and look for exposure. And you can see I have a little keyframe stopwatch right there. When I click on that, move ahead, and then just double clicking on this resets it back to zero. So now I've got an animated exposure from here to here. Pretty cool. Um, I can also change this from linear keyframes to something like continuous uh, Bezier keyframes. And if we look down in the timeline, if I right click and go to Lumetri color panel, because I've added that, it's now available here. And if we look for basic ex correction exposure, there they are. And if I click on this, I can actually modify the handles of this exposure. So how fast does that exposure come into that? Look at that. Damn, that looks good. Maybe it jumps a little bit at the end there. But, you know, I'm using this instead of, let me just temporarily turn that off and just stick a, a typical dissolve in there. And even if I pull the dissolve all the way to the same uh, position, you can see, I mean, it's a dissolve. It's pretty damn dull. So let me go back to turning on the Lumetri. And look at that. Even before it starts, the, the clouds themselves are still dramatic, even with that redu reduced exposure. If I haven't said it already, I freaking love the exposure control in the Lumetri color panel. Okay, this is a harder one. In this example, he walks into a dark alley and then emerges into sunlight. And I wanna do two things. First of all, I think it's too warm in here. This is an ominous scene and I wanna make this definitely uh, a bit more um, cool and I'll wait till he gets inside here so that he is a uh, silhouette and I'm going to change the overall temperature and you can see as I move the temperature slider towards the blue now we're getting this a little bit more dark uh, scene going on and maybe even push the blacks a little bit more so that's a before and that's after that's too inviting that's ominous and I'm going to set keyframes here for temperature and for the black. So back over in my basic exposure, the white balance, temperature, you can see it's at minus 43.3, and the blacks. And I'll move this ahead to where he starts to emerge, right to there. And just like before, double click on these and reset them. So now I've got this more ominous scene. And then he emerges and it's seamless, absolutely seamless. And of course I could uh, also change these from linear to continuous beige or ease in, ease out keyframes. But the one problem I'm having with this is that I seem to have darkened his face at the same time. So I'm making everything else dark, including his face. So I'm gonna twirl up this Lumetri effect, go into my effects panel and type in 
Lumetri and drag the Lumetri color in a second time. When I click on this Lumetri effect, my controls are now controlled by that one. When I click on this one, they're controlled by that one. So in this one, I'm just going to raise the exposure, but I'm also going to add a mask. Now I've already tracked this, so I, I pasted this in so you wouldn't have to, to wait for it. And if you can see, if I turn this second mask on and off, I've tracked that just to give a little bit more of his face with a giant feather and a giant expansion on there. If I actually click on there, you can see there's the mask that I've already taken time to track. So now the final scene looks like this. So let me turn the mask off, rewind back to zero. Remember, this was our original frame. Now when I play this back, it's dark, yet his face is starting to emerge sooner. And we go from cool inside that alley and out just with a couple of keyframes and i've added two lumetri effects you can add as many of these lumetri effects as you want so i could be sticking multiple lumetri effects with multiple masks and giving you that power windows that you might be looking for in these higher end grading systems and remember Go check out the freaking exposure control in the Lumetri color panel. The thing is crazy. So that's how you animate the Lumetri color panel. I mean, I, I pasted in the mask, but this is regular mask 101. Uh, you just draw it and track it, and I've got other tutorials showing you how to do this. But that's how I was able to isolate his face, yet give the whole thing a dark kind of cool feel. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a URL inside description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. That's my job to get you looking your best.